Hi everyone, welcome to the channel. Today we are going to show you how to supercharge your Comfy UI workflows using the T-Catch library. If you are tired of the long wait times when you're generating your AI art, stick around, this video is for you. First, what is T-Catch? T-Catch stands for Timestamp Embedding Aware Catch. It's a training-free catching technique that's designed to speed up the sampling process in diffusion models. Essentially, T-Catch catches outputs from the early steps, so it will be able to eventually speed up your workflow. Let's work through the installation process. There are two methods, automatic installation via the Comfy UI manager or manual installation. For the automatic installation, open the Comfy UI manager, go to the custom nodes section, search for the Comfy UI T catch and click install. You will need to restart to apply changes. If you prefer the manual installation, you can navigate to your Comfy UI custom node location and uh, clone the repository using the git clone URL. After the cloning, you can install the required dependencies with pip install-r requirements.txt. You will also need to restart your config UI if you already have it open. Once installed, it works seamlessly with your native node. Just uh, connect uh, the tcatch node into your workflow, typically right after you load your diffusion models, for example, load checkpoints, and uh, then you can let it do the magic. Our first example is the Flux.1 dev. This is a normal workflow for Flux.1 dev. The GPU is uh, RTX 5090. The speed for a typical workflow is about 8 seconds for 20 steps, 2.39 iteration per second. Now, after we install the tcatch, we can add the tcatch node to the workflow. Let me see. First, you need to find the initial load diffusion model, and then from it, you drag it to a new node. Search for T, T E A. The first one is for image generating because we are using Flux, so we select it. It will add the image generating T catch node to the workflow. Then, after that, you should be able to connect the T catch node to the next node. So basically, it's putting the T catch node between the original workflow to node. You do not need to make a change to other node. You can then click the Q button to start the process to see how the T catch impacts the workflow. We can see the progress bar. It's moving very quickly. It shows about 20 steps take about five seconds. So this is the terminal process bar. And we can do a quicker comparison. So that's the original one is 2.39 versus 3.98. Let's try another time. Yes, I think it's really, really a big significant difference that we can observe after adding the tcatch node. So let's do a simple calculation to see how much it improves. With tcatch, the speed is about 3.97 iteration per second. That's compared with the original speed, which is 2.39 iteration per second. That is a 66% improvement, or 1.66 times faster. Now let's look at the Huiyuan video, text-to-video, comfy UI workflow to see how much T 
catch can help both to look at the original Huiyuan video workflow. The speed is about 1.02 second per iteration. Next, let's add our tcatch node to the original Huiyuan video workflow. Similar to the image, you can start from the load checkpoint. You find the tcatch. There is a tcatch for video. Click on that to add the tcatch node onto the workflow user. And then start from the tcatch node to drag it to the other two nodes. Okay, so I think that's quite simple to do. Just one simple node, no big deal. And now we are ready to run the workflow again, basically using the same prompt, using the same parameters for other node. Click the Q button. Well, we can see the progress bar is moving really fast. And it took about 11 seconds for 20 steps. Compare it with the original Huiyuan video, we see the speed comparison is 0.98 iteration per second versus 1.67 iteration per second. That's a 70.4% increase and 1.7 times faster than the original speed. That's a really significant speed up. Before we wrap up, I want to introduce you to one company called Personal Lab Agency, which is an AI influencer creation company. We know that for generative AI use Comfy UI or other software, one use case is to create custom AI models. Personal Lab specialized in it. They specialized in custom AI development content generation, or long-term content packages. You can find uh, some examples here. I think uh, they look really realistic. To make an uh, order from them, they provided me some free packages, such as uh, five free images. If you order, use my order form. I have it uh, linked in my video description. Feel free to also join their Telegram channel. You can ask a question there and see more examples. All right, thank you for your attention. I hope this video is useful to you. I think TCatch is a great library. Definitely give it a try. I think that's a big speed up. Please hit the like button, share it, and subscribe to the channel. See you in the next video. Goodbye.